Okay, so uh, the task here is actually debugging something in JSBin, which is a um, much more complicated job. Um, but this is the dev version of JSBin that we're working with. How do I view source? Have we taken a keyboard shortcut? Okay. Page source. So, uh, yeah, you can see all the script tags here. <coughs> So, yeah, we're going to have to debug. The problem is JS hint does not work anymore. Um, so let's write some function foo var. Uh, okay, so that is the JS hint not supposed to be working, and it works. Um, Ah, yeah, but it's not appearing in the gutter. That's the issue. Let's do a bit of fixing as well. Why is that happening? <clears throat> Got a float. If we search, we can, can't we? No. Dev. Flight none. What on earth? Why is that happening? And bear in mind, it's probably bad CSS on my part. Width display block float none float margin and oh, margin top minus eight. That's why I don't know why that width is that now. Okay, so we need to go and find that CSS file. Where's the cursor? <coughs> right, that's the guy I want to find. So. Let's use that. Oh man, okay, science, just been. Um, there you go, public, CSS, account, CSS. Um, so these are my linting rules, uh, and it should be appearing in the gutter, and it's not, so that's what we're debugging. <coughs> okay, so um, what I want to do is actually work out exactly what's going on in this bin for that to happen. So um, I'm just going to jump to the JSBin code. Um, I'm not entirely sure where it happens. I'll tell you what, can we do any kind of magic breakpoints in this? Debugger. Um, can we do any kind of break on DOM change tool? Nope. Okay. Um, what are these two? Enable to say all breakpoints, process file, toggle black boxing. I don't know what that means. <clears throat> this source is black box, breakpoints disabled, skipping and stepping skips through it. Oh, okay, so we don't want to 
see anything that goes through that makes sense okay so I should find can I jQuery just black box that guy Search all files, search for function definition. Ah, oh, cool, okay. Search func function definition, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, cool, that's good. <clears throat> I don't actually know what the function I'm looking for is, but that is pretty cool. Um, what the, how do I get those shortcuts again? Filter variables, go to line. That's really nice. That's cool. Um, so, heard of a command line? Command? Pressing escape. But But um, I haven't looked into it <laughs> yet. Display help text, print, variables in the readable format. Okay. Extending dev tools. Yeah, I don't want to do that. All right, debugger. I'm just going to, uh, I should be able to find the code here, shouldn't I? Um, JS hint, maybe search for JS hint. That's not what we want. How do I search all files again? Search in all files, JS hint. Oops. <clears throat> Holy crap, okay. Right, okay. So this is errors.js. Is this used? I suppose I can stick a breakpoint in there and see if it's actually being hit. Okay, well I'm pretty, I know that that code won't work. Um, I think that's where we're happening. Simple JS hint. Simple for that guy. Simple hint. I think that's hinter, not JS hint I'm looking for. Uh, Right, this is, I think this is what I'm looking for. Lint, I know that this one looking for. Lint, wish to help out the linting, here we go. CM update linting. Render, right, I think this is where, what we're interested in. Okay, so I've set a couple of breakpoints. What happened? I think the code's paused. I can't tell where the cursor is. I know we've got scope. Oops, function scope. Check that. Okay, so we're in errors.js, line four. Ah, okay. Right, why that scroll down is beyond me. Check for errors. Okay, this is this is really nice, being able to go through the stack through the code. But the like it'd be good if I landed on the line number. Oh, this is an asynchronous call, which means I've lost the stack. Ah, shit. Something that, Google, that like Chrome does pretty well as well. Gives me the um, asynchronous calls. Um, okay. There's actually no way for me to work out whether that was called. 
Right, can I run some of this code? Is there, can I bring up a console? Just run that and see what happens. Yeah, okay, cool, shoot. What? Oh, please type allow pasting. Okay, that's a nice security feature. Okay, apparently that does work. All right, so we're in the errors. How do I play? Where are my play buttons? Up here. All right, so play out. Hmm. Did you, Fabian? Did you add in errors.js? Did you put it back in? Into production. Okay, so it's, it might be in there when it shouldn't be. Is it possible? Apparently, it's in there, and that's why JSON works in normal mode. Oh, okay. So we should be able to take it out. Okay. Um, um, but if you take it out, JSON will stop working in normal mode. Yeah, but it wasn't there before, right? So. Yeah. And it worked, but. No, JSON didn't work without it. It no it worked at some point, and then it just stopped working. Because we we've lost the gutters. Like this code just yes. doesn't work. So we've lost the gutters, but. If you take that out, we'll lose everything. Yeah, 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 that's fine. That's what I expect. Okay, so I'm taking this error. This is a, a red herring, but it's good that I can see how to debug. Let's just restart. Come on. Oh, no. We can't comment out JSON like that. <clears throat> okay, right. So... What is happening now? Okay, so there's errors. There should be errors in a page. But now, uh, why am I looking at the HTML? Cool stack, HTML, okay. The edit page. Um, what were you looking for? Lint. That's really cool. You can do, a, you can search all of the code using like a bang. I'm sure that this is what we're looking for. How do I get rid of this then? Escape? No, okay, copy the page. Okay, so let's go looking for that. Uh, how, can, what's the shortcut for that? Come on, P. Update linting. Colon? No. Oh no, we want at, don't we? At. So, oh, ah, whoa. <clears throat> oh, okay, yep, we're there, I think. Ah, I'll do one thing. It's two. Okay. So, what file are we in? Lint.js. And that's in our CM add ons. Okay. Where was I before? Lint. How do I list all the functions in this thing? Variable view. Um, I guess I can't go to all the function definitions in this page, can I? Oh, no, I can. Cool. Okay, so just at will give me that. Okay, cool. Uh, <coughs> create press or HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Press is going to use a basic press, which is this guy. Presum, that's what we're looking at. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Um, let's step through that. Step into. Step in, step in, step in. Uh, we want to resolve back out. Okay. 
Okay. So commerce. Chris Kovac. Cash resolve. What? Arguments. This is just, uh, that's pretty nice. I can watch that. It's a little bit scary that I can just delete the, um, the thing on the fly, but I guess I'll be able to anyway. Panel. All right, so we are, can we continue to here? Okay, how do I just set a breakpoint and play to there? Okay. Right, so um, how do I. Oh, I can just hover and I get the value, right? JSPIN editor. So it has a value process or get code, then reject resolve. Oh, crap. Okay, we have to keep going further off our stack. Um, Render. What was calling this? Render.js. This ah, line 33, so what I do? Let's make use of this. Okay. Uh, is this telling me that. Oh, okay, that's cool. It's telling me the execution is happening at that point. That's pretty cool. Uh, further back. So what I'm looking for at the moment is to see if there are any um, linting errors. These are only linting errors if the processor fails. So JSON would be get, wouldn't get called at all because of no errors. Yeah, so let's have a hang that. Because it's not an error. So I want to go looking for my um, resolve, which is this guy. Uh, no, which is there. No, not there. Resolve, wait. If you're watching, I'm just as confused as you are. Yeah. Um, go away. Get off. I don't understand when the linting actually happens. Play it. Can't work out where the linting actually happens. It must happen. Oh, really? Command O and Command P did that. Um, Add-ons. I really want to tuck these away. Well, that I could tuck away, but that I can't. <clears throat> uh, find Hint. OK. 
Okay, that's not what I wanted. Ah. Oh, no, that's all. That's right. Window hinting done. All right. So a breakpoint, a kind of a boot part of the script, which is not getting hit. Interesting. Okay, so what do we have here? I want this to move aside. Get option mode, so can I just add a watch to that? How do I get the whole thing? Do I just wait? No, my add a watch expression, that. Okay, so that's HTML, I don't want that. CSS, conditional breakpoint, when this is equal to this. Now I've got, have I got a, two breakpoints on that now? I can make this. Okay. Oh, I can call it. Okay. Fine. No. How do I get that back? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. How do I get that back? Ah. I've lost. I've lost the sources. <laughs> I can see my. Oh. Sod. All right. Ah, okay, you come back. All right. So this is equal to JavaScript, which means we should now be. Let's go on here. Pause. Step over. Step in. What is going on? Okay, I have no idea. I don't know what happened. Okay. Right, so the mode is JavaScript. Great. Let's step over that. Ah, oh, crap. What was that value? Ah. So this is to say if there are no processes, go away. There are no processes. The fuck. All right. If there are no processes, that is not cool. That is really annoying. Um, I may have found a bug. If there are processes, then don't add the hinting. But if the but in this case, the value of the processor is the word. How do I add more? How do I add? Oh no. Um, JSBin dot state dot processors dot JavaScript is the value of JavaScript. So if we can do uh, can I type? No, I can't. 
What? Close. All right, so I need to remember that I was in add-ons and then find the not equal to undefined, uh, undefined bosh. Okay, um, well, we'll fix those other ones in a second. Let's focus on that guy. Um, uh, okay, cool. Yeah, I might not be here when you get back. Okay, yeah. 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 okay cool. Cool, cheers. Right, so let's just break this up into smaller statements. If it is not equal to JavaScript, then return. Um, if adjustment state equals that, or is equal to script, the return. So that hopefully will work. So if we lost our inspector, refresh. I guess that's fixed the craziness that I messed up over there. Um, oh, but I've lost my breakpoints, I guess. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, add ons. Yep, yeah, we'll have that. Then we want to go to. Um, Yay, we forgot to name our functions. That is pretty cool though. You give us the op object property. I like that. So if I type in JS hint, is that gonna give me? No, it's not JS hint. It's not the quickest, but it's pretty cool. Oh, fuck it, okay, give up. Brackets, yeah, fold. Okay, that's not actually any of the things we want. Uh, sublime, just hint, here we go. All right, it's going to here. Actually, we want a conditional breakpoint, don't we? Conditional breakpoint, cm.get option mode is equal to JavaScript. Fresh. Ah, uh, oh no. I guess I've completely knackered Firefox at this state, haven't I? I just, I can't get it back. View? No. All right. <clears throat> Ah, show pains on startup. No call, false exceptions. Okay, yeah, it's all cool. Um, right, so uh, let's step over that. And the value add expression jsvn.state dot processes dot JavaScript. I should be able to, what? I should be able to add a watch. But I have to hover over the right one, right? Here. Watch. Okay, cool. So, it is equal to jump. Not equal. Hey, plum. Oh, I, 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 yeah, I really like to edit in the middle of execution. Should have really tested the expression of that full statement, shouldn't I? Oh, I can't even see it. Yeah, it'd be good if that was truncated. Like, I want to see the result, not the variable. Um, right, so I've made the change of the source code. I'm just going to refresh. <clears throat> Okay, so we pause, step over. Um, that hasn't reloaded. Why is it not reloaded? I saved that. Close, yes. Ah, but somehow we have a linting back. 
What happened to um, add-ons? Okay, that's updated. Seemed to be a caching thing there. Right, so that is now fixed, um, but the problem is going to also apply the HTML and CSS. So let's get ourselves some uh, preferences. Uh, let's do, do we have HTML linting? Hint? Let's have some of that. Yeah, that'll do. So, title. Title. Of course, we should be seeing linting errors there. If we just check our dev tools, go back to add ons just to test that. Um, find HTML hint. And I bet you that it's this. So let's break uh, let's break when this is true. Uh, when that is true, uh, oh, cripes, how do I edit that? Oh, like that, okay. When that's true, but let's double check the value of that, which I'm pretty certain is going to be. Oh, I can just stick it in there, can I? Can I do that? Can I right click, add watch? Selection to watch expression. Sweet. Cool. I assume that's now a watch expression. Right, let's go. I also assume that I hit refresh and that's actually going to refresh the browser. No. Yes. No. What on earth? I don't know what's happened now. It is reloading. Uh, we're paused somewhere, aren't we? Are we? What on earth has happened? We're not paused. <clears throat> okay, let's close that. Let's reopen it. DevTools, um, add ons. Okay, go back to the hint stuff, uh, HTML hint, uh, conditional breakpoint. CM.get option mode is equal to whoops equal to HTML mixed. Okay, refresh. That definitely needs to be refreshed in that. Okay, cool. We have a breakpoint. Uh, we've lost the expression there, but we can hover over it, can't we? Have we paused here? Oh no, I guess it must never have been. Right, let's just have a regular breakpoint. Let's add that value as well, see and get option mode. I don't understand why it didn't break there. Yeah, okay, so that is, I know how to fix this now. So, banning that, I'm just gonna make this code. Um, Consistent. It's very verbose, and obviously there's some other bug, but I'm happy with that for a second. And that all fits on one line. Should we just pick? I might just make a local variable of the var processors. Of course, that. Now you just watch me code, which is embarrassing. Um, and not equal to CSS. I'll do something here. And we want to do the same thing for the HTML hint.
and presses.html is not equal to HTML. Return. Cool. Okay. Um, I can't get rid of all the breakpoints because I can't get to my thing down in the corner. So let's refresh that. And there it is. We're fixed. Some weird margins going on out there, but we are fixed, which is kind of important. Oh, wow. That has been plaguing us for a while. Um, so here, like this, this box up in the corner is really cool. Um, I particularly like the function definitions. I particularly like that we have uh, context to the left. That's very useful for like reading stuff. Um, the code search is, is pretty sweet as well. Um, what was it? Uh, oh yeah, the bang um, hint. So this is really cool. Uh, a little bit tricky to get rid of, but really cool. I like it a lot. Um, the hovering is kind of a problem. And the fact that when you break, when the code is on a particular line, it'd be good if it actually like scrolled that line into visibility. I'm sure these are probably bugs that you already know about, but I'm just kind of being super verbose. It took me a while to realize I could resize this, but once I collapsed it completely, it kind of broke everything. Um, I guess it looks like now I shouldn't have been able to get smaller than that, but for some reason I was able to. I'd like to be able to just get rid of this. I've just realized there's a call stack there, um, even though it's there in black and white. I'd like the call stack across the top, that's superb. Really like navigating that way. Um, I don't like being able to not change the code on the fly, like whilst I'm inside of execution. Um, again, I don't know if that's something that is possible to do in Firefox. Um, you know, it's something you do in Chrome all the time. Um, I'll pause the execution, actually change the line of code in that, uh, like in situ, basically, and I can see the effect of that fix immediately. Um, and because I then have workspaces, it's all saved. But um, but yeah, okay. So hopefully this is useful. Um, if the boss, thanks.